Olaf Gonzalez uh, correctly referring to him, uh, pointed out to us earlier that it is the issue of governance and representation that is at the heart of the survival or decline of these many state economies. So he understands very well the principal role of leadership. And he also reminds us that the principal characteristics of the kind of leadership that will mislead these tiny countries is the leadership he characterized as an authoritarian leader. Let me just share with our, our listeners what Prime Minister Gonzalez considers to be the attributes of that bad leader, that authoritarian leader. Number one, such a leader engenders the belief that he is indispensable to the political process. Such a leader personalizes authority to the extent that all the roads of governance lead to him. <laughs> Such a leader underestimates and disregards the capacity of the people to transform themselves. Such a leader, you know, has a suspicion and even hostility to popular organizations or alternative power, se power centers. Such a leader uses demagoguery, manipulation, bribery, patronage, fear, and coercion to mobilize the populace as a distinct from the use of persuasion and, and, and consultation for development. Such a leader has a strong aversion to criticism. Such a leader uses the punishment of victimization to those who he determines are his political enemies. <laughs> the cynical use of law and the legal system to package in acceptable clothing that which is anathema. <laughs> Such a leader manipulates religion and other values and symbols dear to the people to ensure his perpetuation in power. Such a leader builds and utilizes a propaganda machine to numb people's minds. Such a leader takes firm control of central institutions of government, such as the police force, the public service, the treasury, statutory boards. Such a leader has a profound anti-intellectual approach, while at the same time embarking on a quest for intellectual or professional recognition. Such a leader builds external linkages with foreign governments and businesses so as to contribute to a shallow image building and furtherance of domestic control. Such a leader practices closed government. And finally, such a leader displays an inherent distrust of democracy and democratic institutions. Well